Hey guys, in class today we spent the first hour discussing our opinion poll and, and getting it off the ground. We already started last week with the first three. We had a discussion about what worked effectively in terms of engaging people and getting them to take the survey, etc. Different strategies. In summary, uh, wear CSUCI clothing, either a sweatshirt, a mask, a hat, what have you. Um, and uh, we're targeting public places. So we're targeting beaches and coffee shops and things of that nature where we can get a, a, a random swath of the general public. We're only doing adults, so that's 18 years and older. And we're not doing more than uh, 20 in any one location. Our targets are Santa Barbara, Ventura, Los Angeles County. And um, we basically discussed how, uh, if there, since we, we just did the first three so far, <clears throat> I will be passing out the rest of the surveys uh, later this week, the, the printed physical copies. Um, I've been waiting though, in case you guys notice any typos or other logistical errors before I print them all up, I just wanted to uh, get that feedback from you. In our module this week, there is an option where you guys can click on to, to modify a Google Doc version of our poll if you notice anything needing to be fixed. Um, in general, we just also went over the poll again, the, our, our final version here. Um, some of the questions, as marked in yellow here, are ones that are specifically about COVID that we, um, uh, mostly that we asked last year, slightly, slight word change in terms of the way we describe the current year, et cetera, but basically these, these were asked um, last year. The yellow ones, um, in the context of this guy, this was one that was uh, based on some polling from Europe and, and followed the same format, some collaborations we have with them. Uh, and the things we most, most care about here are the fin fish and the shellfish for our class, but we've just asked these other things to be consistent with those other polling efforts and also just to have some relative measure of how, how much people's consumption of these um, marine-derived uh, foodstuffs uh, compared to how they how other food that they're eating uh, changed. Uh, and then again, uh, pollution related to the pandemic, et cetera. Did people really support beach closures uh, as, as related to our um, previous beachless survey work? Um, and then the purple stuff here, these are questions that we historically have, have asked for many years. Um, uh, most of them have been asked for well over 10 years. Um, in the context of this f seafood one, we actually added one. Uh, this, first, this question was first asked in 2010 in the wake of the Deepwater Horizon um, uh, spill. Um, and then uh, we've changed it a bit over the years by adding additional things. We used to historically, before 2015, we just asked about California, how safe do you think it is to eat seafood from California? Then with the 2015 refugio spill, we added this notion of the Santa Barbara Channel, so Santa Barbara Ventura area, um, to see if there was an effect of that oil spill. And then this year, we've actually added on Orange County um, in the wake of that, uh, of our most recent oil spill. So, so those, while this question is old, this one option is a new option. Um, we've also added this one question, which is not so much for our class, but more for some research that Dr. Patch and Ryan and I are doing and just wanted uh, to get some data on that. Um, uh, this question here is also about the, our recent oil spill, about if people have, have changed any behavior uh, due to the Huntington uh, Beach spill. And then we have our demographic questions, which we ask all the time. Um, while people can choose to skip these, this is really this really helps us understand the responses. So we hope they do not. But if they, you know, we're running out of time, if there is either a choice of not taking the survey or just taking it and just sort of bailing on this last bit, I guess I would take the questions. But but these demographic questions are really important. This last demographic question um, was historically considered part of the COVID survey. Um, but we moved it down to uh, demographics because that uh, seemed, seemed to be more appropriate. The last thing I'll just mention that we discussed in class was all these things are good. The one exception is this option here. So cholesterol songus, this actually isn't a, is not a real thing. So this is a, um, our, our one little deception thing in our survey just to help us look for an internal error of our polling. So because this is not a real thing, this doesn't exist, the only real appropriate answers are neutral. I don't know if it's good or bad or I don't know. If people pick any of the other things, the positive or very positive or negative or very negative, that says that either they're not paying attention or they're misremembering or something, but regardless, it's an error. And that helps us estimate how much um, error we have in our poll. So um, now no one should ask you to discuss these things during the survey, but in which case you say, oh, sorry, I can't answer any questions about the content. 
happy to discuss them with you after the survey, but don't talk to them before. You don't want to bias their, bias their um, um, feedback. But uh, uh, in this case, if, if, you, if people are, are asking you after the fact, you can tell them, yeah, cholesterosongus kel was not a real thing, and that's just a way we measure our error in the survey. And so, yeah, so great. So, so public places, um, you have 40 of these physical face-to-face, -face, and then we'll also be having a handful of, um, of emailed surveys so we can, we can boost our numbers that way. But 40, you're trying to get 40 in the next two weeks. I will have more printout for you, uh, more printed out for you on Wednesday and look forward to talking with you about that and look for uh, links to enter the data, et cetera, after tomorrow. Again, if you, do if you did notice anything wrong with our surveys or any f feedback, please fill that out by Monday night so that I can send them to the printer Tuesday morning. Thanks, you guys. This is our poll. Have fun with it, and it's going to be great to see how people uh, perceive our coastal marine management issues uh, in this uh, year of, uh, in this time of a year and a half of pandemic. Thanks, you guys.